I have absolutely no coding experience whatsoever. In this video, I'm gonna to attempt to build out my own SaaS application that is fully functioning using Repla Agent and AI to build this for me. When I say I have no coding experience whatsoever, I mean I do not have any at all. I'm basically like if you were to give a monkey a computer and told them to create an, a, you know, an app um, using code. That is me. I have no coding experience whatsoever, but I'm gonna to attempt to build out my own application that I could actually go ahead and then sell. So I don't wanna waste any more time Let's dive right into Replit Agent. I'm gonna to try to build this out in under 10 minutes to build a fully functioning application with zero coding experience whatsoever. Let's go ahead and start. All right, so we're now inside of Replit. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna to come to um, create with Replit Agent. And this is where we're actually gonna begin building our software. So for this software, I'm basically gonna be building a dashboard where I can see all my posts across my Instagram, my YouTube, and all my different social channels so I can have it in one space. So this is a very, very basic software and application idea, but I wanna see if I'm able to do this in a short amount of time. Create for me an application that posts that combines posts on my YouTube and Instagram. I want an app that can showcase all of my posts in one place. Let's start building this and then see what it actually spits out for us. All right, so it actually proposed to me a plan on what it's gonna build for me. So you can see here is a plan. I've created a plan for a web application that combines your YouTube and Instagram posts into a single feed. The app will use Flask for the back end and vanilla JavaScript for the front end. I don't know really what, I, I know what JavaScript is, but I don't know what Flask is or vanilla is. Um, I will fetch data from both platforms APIs and display them in a unified responsive interface. Let me know if you'd like to proceed with this plan or if you need any adjustments. So that sounds like a great plan. Also, it added some additional feature suggestions like implementing user authentication to support multiple content creators, all these different things, um, which is awesome. But let's go ahead and just start with the initial prototype and then build from there. So it took some time and actually build out this initial prototype, which looks great. Let's go ahead and say, yes, this looks good. And then we'll add from this. So I went ahead and added my Instagram access token, my YouTube API key and my YouTube channel ID. It then added my Instagram post here for whatever reason, it's not showing YouTube. So I need to instruct this to add my YouTube videos, maybe there was an issue with the API key or the YouTube channel ID, but we will get this sorted. Finally, I got this to work. Behind the scenes, I actually did a lot of prompting trying to fix this, but actually the whole problem was I gave the wrong API key. So I went ahead and generated a new API key. So now we could actually see the YouTube videos and the Instagram posts all within our feed with inside of this dashboard. So now that this is working, that is amazing. You could sort between just the YouTube videos. You could go to just the Instagram videos and let's actually play around with this more and make this customized. All right, so now that the actual like configuration of this and the actual functionality works, I wanna go ahead and customize this and make it look like an actual good software as opposed to kind of something very simple like all right there we go i gave you that prompt now let's let it think and do its thing on the back end and we'll revisit this all right so now we're making some great progress look at it now what it actually built for us this looks a bit better it made us a cool little logo we can make this definitely a lot better but this is a great starting point what i'm going to do is I actually took a screenshot of my friend liam otley's amazing software agentive um such a great software liam's a good homie of mine wanted to shout him out I really love the way his software looks. So I wanna kind of replicate this in a way with a cool background. I like the buttons up here, that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and use this as an example. All right, there we go. So I struck it with this. I took a screenshot of the software and now it's going to build based on that prompt I just sent. So now it updated us. It made a little bit of a change here. You can see now it does have glowing buttons. If you click above here, that's kind of cool. I definitely wanna change that a little bit. It's not exactly how I want it. So it says, is the application now displaying a dynamic futuristic background with glowing buttons. All right, so I basically said yes, but you could do better. Make the buttons more like the screenshot I sent. Also, I want you to make the logo more futuristic and have it at the top slash the middle of the screen. So let's go ahead and see what this does for us. So it spit out this. I'm still not a fan. I'm getting a little picky now, but this is where we can kind of test this out and see how good this is at making it exactly how we want it to be. Play around with it a bit more. Maybe like, like a little... Still not a huge fan of the logo. I don't know why it's adding this squiggly line here. I'm going to play around with it a bit more just to make this as perfect as possible and then maybe add a couple more features. Honestly, this looks really good now. 
I um, actually had another idea for what I could add here for just kind of an additional feature to see what it could do. I'm gonna ask it to add a notes part of this application so that way I could jot down any kind of ideas I have for new content and it stores out inside of a database or with inside of a tab inside of our application. So let me go ahead and make that now. All right, so I want you to add a notes feature where I can make notes for content ideas. I also want you to add a feature inside of the notes that make me a simple outline of the video with a simple note. Did indeed add a notes tab here, which you can see you could add no title, you could add no content, but it looks a bit janky. We need to fix this. So I'm going to tell it to match the uh, kind of interface of the rest of the platform. So now it actually went ahead and made this formatting look better for the notes. So let me come here and play around with this. You can see we can come to YouTube, we can come to the Instagram posts, we can go to notes, and then you can see it already added this here. I had a video idea, I tested this out, let's try it again. Video, or let's say Synflow video. But boom, there we go. So it added another note here. Let's go ahead and see if we could find a way to add AI to this where it could elaborate with AI and build a kind of video overlay, overlay or video overview um, with AI. So I actually said, uh, I wanted this to actually add a dark glowing feature for when you hover, hover over a post and it actually does it now. So you can see this is a little user interface things that I like, you know, it looks really cool and sleek with this. You could see it kind of makes the thing bigger and it has a glowing effect around it, which I think is really awesome. So that is really cool. Let's go ahead and try to elaborate on this notes piece and see if we could um, add an AI step. All right, so I actually don't see the glowing effect around the notes, which I instructed. So I said, that looks great. I do not see it on the notes, however. Um, I, and then I also said, I want you to add an AI step to the notes. When a new note is posted, use AI to give an idea of a video outline, include it in the note that is saved. So I'd love to be able to click on this and see like an AI, AI elaborating on the idea I have. So I just instructed it to add the AI step and let's go ahead and see if this works. So can you check if the notes function is, the notes feature is working as expected. But let's say all this replit video, the video where I use replit agent to build a fully functioning app. All right, let's add this and then see. All right, so I actually went ahead and told this to use ChatGPT to give an idea of a video outline for all the notes that are added here. So um, it actually went ahead and asked me for my OpenAI API key. So I just plugged that in and it's currently thinking, let's see if it actually could come up with this. Cause if it could do this, this is absolutely awesome. Honestly, I don't have much confidence that it can do it. I think it's a bit complicated, um, but let's see if this, if it pulls this off, this is absolutely gonna blow my mind. All right, so I tried playing around with this to try to get the AI step to work, to add the elaboration to these notes that I had. For whatever reason, I can't get it to work. I think it's a little bit too complex and I'm not technical enough to figure it out. But honestly, we built out an awesome, very simple app. This is exactly what I was looking for. I wasn't even thinking about adding the note idea until I was in here building this, I had the idea. So what I wanna do, I actually want to ask our Replit agent if it has any other ideas to add to this software. Um, and then after that, I think this might be, I might call it and just leave it at this, but let me ask. All right, so I basically just said, do you have any cool ideas to add to the app? Let's let this think and come up with something. And then um, hopefully it gives us some cool ideas. Maybe we'll implement it, implement it and go from there. This is actually what it gave us. It gave us a content calendar here. Um, I'm not sure necessarily how it functions. I'm probably gonna need to add the functionality behind it, but the user interface looks cool. Let me go ahead and add a new note let's just say video idea for the all right so i added the note here but it didn't add it to my content calendar so let me go ahead and try to figure out what i want to do with the content calendar all right so i'm basically just saying can you add the notes to the content calendar if there's a date attached to the notes so since i put you know friday the 20th here it should throw this on the content calendar let me see if i can actually do this it's a bit complex of a task I'd be surprised if it can do it. All right, so I tried to configure the calendar to be able to add these notes to it. However, I couldn't get it to work. So I decided to just remove that feature because it's not necessarily necessary. We have a fully functioning app called Socialify. It has all of my YouTube videos here. We can go ahead and click the YouTube video. It brings us straight there. 
Um, it has my Instagram posts as well, so I could see all of my social posts in one spot, categorized by YouTube or Instagram. And then we could come in and add any contact content notes inside of here. We added some cool animations. I mean, this platform looks honestly pretty decent for somebody that has never coded ever in their life. This is the final product. I'm really, really happy with this. In total, this probably took me about 30 minutes to do. I kind of skipped through in this video the back end. When you prompt something, sometimes it take 10 to 20 minutes to do it in the back end, which makes sense because it's got to do full coding and stuff. This was a really simple process with a couple prompts to build a fully functioning application that ties into APIs such as YouTube and Instagram like this. So guys, what do you think of this? I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this, building custom software from nothing with AI, with no coding experience. So make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment so I can know you guys enjoy this type of content. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one where we're building another cool web app with AI. See you guys.